this journey in Spain has been experiencing different lines, different areas, finding my strengths and improving my weaknesses. Whether my next level is 9A plus or more 9As is hard to say. I like to believe my next level is whatever I want it to be. I realize that there aren't really limitations to what is possible to try and climb the hardest, most inspiring lines around the world. Yeah, I'm psyched. Well, I guess you just gotta try hard. They say I'm Muerte, stuff like this. That's not an excuse. I wanted to try La Rambla because it's a classic route and because it's the next level. But at the same time, I didn't want to be stuck on one location and one route with a grade fixation. Putting in some efforts. Definitely next level project. Feels good to try hard. My grandma really likes receiving mail, and so I try and write to her from every place I go. I call my grandma Bubba. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> from Sierra, Spain. We are leaving Sierra and going to Oleana for a few days to check out that area and see Adamandra and Chris Sharma because they're definitely legendary within the climbing community, but also they have a lot that I can learn from. They've both been through the project process with Roots before, and that's something that's new to me. We're off to Chris and Dylas for a barbecue, and I'm bringing some treats. Hola! I can just definitely learn um, important mental approaches from them, as well as um, just watching their physical capabilities is always inspiring. So I have a lot to learn from both of them. Come on, Chris. Fun. I had a really great experience in Oleana and I was motivated to continue my trek throughout Spain to search for which routes I'm most motivated on. In Margalef I found this route that Chris Sharma had established called Arabea and I was easily inspired by it. It's a beautiful 140 foot steep pockety line that just grabs your attention. That brings me to the current point in my journey in Margalef, trying this route and being around people that are motivated and inspired to push their limits and to see other people's limits be pushed too. Sometimes things don't come so easily as they did with pure imagination and you really have to fight towards achieving that goal. For me, I kept falling at the very beginning of Aravea, which wasn't necessarily a such a hard move but it was a hard for me because it involved a jump and that's one of my weaknesses but working towards this weakness in order to overcome it was an experience that I really benefited from. I am just continuously losing chunks of skin. Frustrated is how I'm feeling. I'm gonna cut it and tape and try again. You can really be driven by success, but also driven by failure. When I went, I was really determined and set on the goal of just 
climbing my best on that try. Um, I wasn't really thinking about the anchors. I was thinking about, let's see how I can succeed on this route. I think that whatever you work hard towards achieving, then ultimately, if you're driven enough and passionate enough about that goal, there's no real reason that you can't excel at that aspiration. When I arrived at the top, I was overcome by a sense of satisfaction, but also disbelief. Similar to achieving any goal, you kind of have this, this feeling that you need to be pinched in order to make sure that you're not dreaming and that it's actual reality. And I think the sensation that you feel at the top is really unparalleled with anything else I feel in life. <laughs> 